This is part two of my two-part tutorial on cleaning up a SketchUp export in Adobe Illustrator. So in the first video, we went in and got rid of all of the little faceted shapes that SketchUp creates because it's a 3D modeling program and it's trying to show some topography here, but we wanted this all to be one flat shape. And we did a few other things like changing the weight of the lines in this file. So now what I'd like to do is show you some things that you can do with a really great plugin from Astute Graphics called Vector First Aid. And so I've opened up a special workspace that I have here saved where I have all of my Astute Graphics plugins here and we're going to use this one right here at the top, Vector First Aid. So because this drawing came from SketchUp as a PDF and we just opened it up in Illustrator, we immediately have some issues here. And the one that's really crazy that we can't solve just using Illustrator tools alone uh, is this here where you can see every, this circle here or this oval is made up of individual unjoined line segments. And then this right here is a corner that has two separate line segments and we would like this to be all one corner. So this is the type of thing that if you had to go in here and do this by hand using Illustrator tools and join and that sort of thing, uh, this would take forever. And Vector First Aid can do this in one click. It's made to do this. So the function on the panel here that we're going to use is right here. It's called Rejoin Paths. And you can get its options just by holding down the option or alt key when you click on the button. And the default options are fine here. What we've got here is a tenth of a pixel of tolerance. So any paths that come within that tolerance will be joined together. And we definitely want this checked here, rejoin paths with different directions. So we're able to turn corners and that sort of thing. All right, so I'm just going to click OK and let Vector First Aid do its thing. And it takes just a second because there's a lot to do in this drawing. So that was pretty fast considering. And if I zoom in here, you can see now that corner is joined. And so are about 8,000 other paths. I'll undo that. And then on these rain barrels here, these are all now one line, although they do have a lot of anchor points on them. And so I have other ways of solving those issues. But throughout this file, we've in one click saved ourselves a lot of time and trouble just using rejoin paths here in Vector First Aid. The next thing that we're going to do is just do a scan of the overall document to see if we can find anything else that might need fixing. So if I go here under manual checkups and just look at this menu here, there's all different kinds of functions here. We can take a look at a CAD file. We can do a special um, scan for programs like Pages, Keynote, and Numbers. Any of these types of files that you might bring into Illustrator have different settings that you can use with these presets. I'm going to go with Adobe Acrobat PDF files because this was a PDF that we exported from SketchUp. And there are several ways I can do this. I can check the whole document or I can check selected areas. I'm going to zoom in just to show you what this does, we'll just do one sort of selected area. So here's an example of a line here that it's now turning a corner, which is great. These are joined together, but we have all these added anchor points. And these happened because we had some triangles that were the faceted shapes of the grass and wherever they meet this wall here, we have extra anchor points. So what I can do is go to check selection and just check this and it's telling me there are 14 unneeded anchor points and one short handle. So I'm going to go ahead and just fix all of those things and now we can see nice simplified lines. So that's a peek at what this scan can do for your file. Now what I'm going to do with nothing selected, click on this button again and we're going to do a check of the entire document on that Adobe Acrobat PDF preset. And now we can see there are 11,640 unneeded points in this file, along with a lot of other things that we can fix in one click. So for example, if I look right here, 
and select this line here. This is a straight line, but wherever there's a line that's coming in to intersect it, there's an anchor point there that we don't need. So this is the type of thing that this scan can fix for us. You can also go through each one of these items here and find the definition of what this actually means, what a short handle is, or what close points are. And if you want, you can click on this button here and it will show you where they're located. You can also shift click to see all of the instances of that issue in your file. So there's a lot you can do here, but what I'm going to do is just get this whole list taken care of in one click by going over here to the fix all button and clicking on it. And pretty quickly it went through and took care of all those issues. So where we were zoomed in here before and you did see an anchor point at every intersection here, now we just have a nice straight path. Now let's take a look at the built-in Illustrator feature Simplify that can help us with these curved lines on the rain barrels. So I'm selecting this path with the white arrow so we can see all the extra anchor points that we have but in order to use Simplify, you need to switch to the black arrow and select your path with that. And then I'm going to go to Object, Path, and then Simplify. So Simplify has really improved in Illustrator in recent years. And as we can see, just at the basic level here, we're doing like the most accurate scan you can do. And we have an original 50 anchor points and a potentially removed down to 31 points, which is great, but it still looks kind of lumpy here. So what I can do is just put my cursor in this box here and just use my down arrow on my keyboard and just sort of watch what this feature can do when it removes anchor points just by one percentage point at a time. And if you can see you go too low and things start to look a little distorted, then you can go right back up to where you were. I'm going to stick with 93. I think that's sort of the happy medium here. And then um, I'm going to have this checkbox check, retain my latest settings and directly open this dialog. So I'll click OK. And now I've removed a lot of anchor points. And we can see the difference between the original and the one that has the removed anchor points. Now, another thing that I can do, I have all these segments here that have the same sort of level of anchor point complexity in them. So I'm just holding down the shift key and selecting them individually. And then I'm going to go back up to object, then path, and then simplify. And because I have this checkbox checked, I've got my former settings already set here. And then all I have to do is click OK and it did basically the same thing, which looks pretty good. It definitely looks better than this rain barrel over here. So those are a few things that you can do using the great Vector First Aid plugin by Astute Graphics and Illustrator's Object Path Simplify feature.